I came down to Philadelphia originally because two-thirds of the vowels seemed to be involved in change. It was a great site for studying linguistic change. Every year from 1972 to 2012, groups of students entered the community, made their own connections, learned how to record people, analyze the data, and we accumulated this great body of material called the, now called the Philadelphia Neighborhood Corpus. We're dealing now with change over a century by date of birth. People born in 1888 down to 1991. The amount of data we can process has expanded enormously. So it used to be it would take five minutes to make a measurement. Now we can make 10,000 in an hour. And the result, we're getting answers that are much more precise and more reliable than we used to have. Given that we know where in the audio a speech sound is, uh, how do we get a good measurement? The constant factor is Philadelphia is now seen as moving in the direction of its northern elements, moving away from the southern community that it was associated with before. We've discovered that certain language changes have continued in the same direction for over a century, and that others have turned around and reversed in lockstep. We can see them start moving. This one is becoming more like ow, ow, ow. This was becoming more like o, o, o. And then around the same time they reverse and start moving in the other direction. We hear frequently people saying like and bike and fight as compared to like and bike and fight. The Philadelphians in the 1970s were increasingly saying go, 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 go. So that uh, now I know might be pronounced now I know.